Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, KSM. When Sheikh Mohammed needed a house, job, and money, he turned to Qatar. He was invited there by Abdullah bin Khalid Al Thani, Qatar's Minister of Religious Affairs at the time. Qatar had given KSM a passport, a house, and a job, and even a special bank account, then enabled him to start a terror network to assassinate American diplomat Lawrence Foley. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed worked on a farm owned by Al Thani and lived in the open, not even bothering to use an alias. He worked as a project engineer for the government. One U.S. official would later recall that Al Thani had this farm and he always had a lot of people around and maybe a couple of Kalashnikovs, machine guns, in the corner. Apparently, the CIA became aware that KSM was living there in 1995. The FBI planned an operation to capture him, but according to FBI agent Jack Clunan, KSM was tipped off shortly after Qatar officials were told of the plan, and he got away. KSM would return to Qatar occasionally. He even stayed there with the knowledge of some Qatari royals for more than two weeks after 9-11. According to American intelligence, Abdullah bin Khalid Al Thani, member of the Qatar royal family, was the person who tipped off KSM. This wasn't Al Thani's only support for an Al Qaeda leader. Osama bin Laden traveled to Qatar to visit Al Thani between 1996 and 2000. Imagine how history would have been different if Qatar had not protected KSM. Qatar did the same for Zarqawi. When it comes to supporting terrorism, the record is clear. More than 20 years later, Qatar is still protecting and funding terrorists. We couldn't trust Qatar then. We can't trust, we them, can't now. trust them now.